What's going on, YouTube? The aliens have landed here in Quincy, Ma and I'm not talking about the little green guys. You might think I'm talking about those, because I'm sure they're around too, but no. The smock alien kit. Oh, this is a beautiful little device. A dual 18650, very small. You know, it's smaller than it looks on camera. It's about the size of the Segelli 213. It's in like, it's about around that shape, as you can see. Comes with the baby beast. It also does, they also do make versions without the tank, with just the mod itself. But I happen to get the whole kit with the tank. Let's get to some specs on this bad boy. Its max power is 220 watts. It reads resistances in wattage mode all the way down to 0.1, all the way up to 3 ohms. And then in temperature control mode, it reads resistances all the way down to 0 0.06, all the way up to 3 ohms. It goes from 200 to 600 degrees in Fahrenheit and 100 degrees Celsius to 315 degrees Celsius. Uh, the size of it all together is 85 by 44 by 30. So in the very center here, because it, it kind of, what it does is it kind of, as you can see by the shape here, where the tank is, and then it kind of goes out right here in the center. It's 30 millimeters. So this is a 22 millimeter tank, and you could fit you could fit a 25 on here, no problem whatsoever, which I'll show you later on in this video. So now that all the specs are done, let me show you the packaging. So on the outside of the box, you're going to get this smock alien kit. And on the front, it shows the picture of the device that you're getting and the color. Like, I have the red and black version. It also comes in all black. Like, the the red isn't there. And then it also comes in black and gold, black and blue. And also, the O-rings on the tank with each different color matches as well. So this is the outside of the packaging. You get your QR codes. And then on this side it just says alien kit with your scratch and sniff. And that's about it for that. And then once you open up the box, you just have your typical smock packaging. And then when you open it, that would that's where the mod would be. And then here's your bath salts. Alright, so once you open up the box, you get your code of authenticity. Then you get this. I always love when mods come with this, tell you what kind of batteries to use in case you don't know your battery safety, which some people don't. Some people don't realize that it's not good to have poor battery wraps. It shows the correct batteries wraps with the correct wraps to use right here. And then you also get this nice owner's manual too. It tells you everything about it, and it also talks about the tank in here too. Oh, I had it upside down. Excuse me, I apologize. See? Look at that. Shows you how to work the device. And then once you get inside, if you get the version with the tank, this is what it's going to come with. They all come with a USB cable because it um, you can charge it, which I don't recommend. I recommend taking the batteries out and charging them externally. But you can charge it with the USB cord. It's also for firmware updates. Then you'll get two vape rings. You'll get some spare O-rings and a gasket to put on the top if something happens to it. You get a spare glass. And you get another coil. Uh, it comes installed with this coil. This is the 0.4 resistance for the baby beast. It also comes with the 0.15 resistance, which I put in there now. Um... I'm not going to review the Baby Beast, really, because I've already talked about that. I already reviewed it. I did a video on it, and you guys know that out of these two coils, I like the .15 better. So let's get into the mod now. So let me just take a pull real quick. That's only at 60 watts. So, here we go. 
So that's what the screen looks like. Right here. It shows how many watts you're pushing. I got it at 60. Right there. It says an H. When I get into menu, I'll show you. You can hit this. It, it It's different strengths for how it vapes. There's soft, there's medium, and there's hard. Then it shows both your batteries, the life on both your batteries, A and B, which it's, I believe it's marked when you open the door. Focus. Okay, I don't think this is going to focus too well. But it shows your voltage. It shows your resistance. It, there's a puff counter on it. And then down here, this bar right here is how many seconds you vape. See, watch. See? So let's show, let me show you that. So I just took a 1.85 second hit. Here's your up and down buttons right here. That's your down button. That's your up button. It goes in point one increment. All right, fifty nine watts, good enough. The only thing on this is that these buttons are not mocked, so you don't know what's up and down. You kind of got to look at it like this and figure that the one on this side, which would be the right, is your down. And the one on the left is your up. But now let's get into the menu. So in order to get into the menu, all you have to do is click it three times. It'll go into mode, puffs, settings, power, and back to mode. In order to get into the menu, like say you want to change the mode, you want to go from it'll temperature to uh, wattage mode. You just press the fire button like that. And whichever one you want. You just hold down. So as you can see, I'm at 58.7. So it shows temperature mode, it's wattage mode, and then memory. What you can do is you can set this so it remembers what you vaped. Like say, I want to vape it at 58.7. I can go into memory mode and I can set that. So let's get into the menu again. Go to puffs. That's a puff counter. I really don't see any point in those, so I'm really not going to get into it. So let's go into settings. So it shows you a screen. You can either have a time or you can have a lock. Contrast. You know, that's just to brighten the screen. Right here is where you set your resistance and lock it if you're in temperature control mode. And right here, that's where you do your firmware updates. And if you want, you can put it in stealth mode, which is when you vape it, there's nothing on the screen. And right here, you can also, it'll go into this. You can set how long you want the screen to stay on for. And then, of course, you have your power, which you can go into it and turn your device off. So here's the strength right here, soft, normal, hard, we'll put it on normal. Alright, so that's that. For temperature control, this reads nickel, titanium, and stainless steel 316. Those are the three it does. If you press the up button, uh, it's... Okay, if you press the down button and you press the fire button, goes into what mode? So if you want to go into temperature control, you can adjust it. See, now I'm in temperature control. But of course, I don't want to be in temperature control. I don't really use it. So we're going to go back to watts. There we go. If you press the down button and the fire button, 
you can lock the screen. Oh no, it goes into um what mode you want it. My bad. If you press both these buttons, it locks the screen. See, now I can't fire it at all. Those are all shortcuts. When you go into the settings, you can also lock your screen, but if I want to lock it, it's just easy to press them both just like that. On the top here, you have a nice spring-loaded 510 pin. And then at the bottom, here's your battery doors. You just flip it open like that, and you pop your batteries out. And then I don't know if you're going to see this on. Oh, yeah, you can. It's marked A and B. Positive up, negative down. And this also has reverse battery protection, so if you put them in the wrong way, it's not going to hurt it because it's protected. And then when you put the batteries on, it's going to say that. Turn it on, click it five times. And it'll tell you what version you're using. And it'll say Alien. And then there's your screen. So here's how it looked with a 25 millimeter tank on it. That's the Cloud Beast, the original one. As you can see, there's no overhang. It's just nice and flush. And here it is with a 24 millimeter tank. This is the Twisted Messes 24. This is actually a nice looking setup right here. It has this nice carbon fiber on the back. Uh, one other thing I want to show you, when you put a new atomizer or you change a coil in your tank, it's going to ask you if it's a new coil. I don't know if you, you can't really see that because of the camera, but all you want to do is if you have a new coil, you just want to press it, the yes. And then there you go. Alright guys, so let's put the Cloud Beast back on here. Uh, the original Cloud Beast. Alright, so I have the original TFE8 Cloud B sitting on top of my Alien. It's going to ask me if it's a new coil. Yes. And let me crank up the wattage here. Oh, a little too high. We'll crank it up to about 100. And this is the point two coil, the sextuplet, and it's reading point two zero nine, so it's pretty close. And I'm pushing four point nine volts to get that hit. Another thing it shows on the screen here, it's right here under the batteries. It shows your amperage. See how many amps it's taken to push this? I like that. You know, because like on other mods, it doesn't tell you how many amps you're pushing through it. I mean, I know mods are all regulated and stuff, but still, I, I like how that's on the screen. So let's see if this, how much power this thing's really got. So I got it at 125 watts. Let's see how accurate it is. It feels like a true 125 watts. As you can see, it goes all the way up to 220 like I told you guys. So I got it at 220 watts and it's taken 5.7 volts to power this. So it goes from 220 watts, goes all the way up to that, and the lowest it goes is 6 watts.
So at the end of the day, guys, what it comes down to in this video is, do I recommend this? Yes, I absolutely recommend this. You can get it with or without the tank, you know, with the tank as a kit, or just a mod. Um, either way, it's nice, because you can put any tank on it. All my tanks and RDAs, they sit flush. There's no gap or anything between the mod and the tank. They all make contact. It's just, this is a nice tank, guys. Um, this is a nice mod, guys. Um, and the nice thing about it, too, I like, is that it comes with the baby beast, and it has the two coils there. A beginner could use this. Um, this is good for someone who is a beginner. You could put the baby beast with the point four, vape it at 30 watts. You know, it's good for someone... I wouldn't say it's for, like, the beginner that's just getting off cigarettes that's a mouth to lung because you can't really do a mouth to lung on the Baby Beast. But it's more for, you know, a beginner who's just getting into sub ohm vaping. This is perfect. So at the end of the day, if I lost it, if I broke it, if I dropped it off a building, would I go out and buy another one? Yes. So that does it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe if I earned it. Give it a sh like, give it a share. I'll have links in the description below to where you can get a Smoke Alien kit. I'll also have links for my Facebook account and my Instagram. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll also have links for advocacy. And I'll also have a link for the Right to Vape campaign for the AVA. Alright guys, so I'll catch you next time on the next video. Everybody have a great day. And vape on.